Ooh, today's a today today was a hot day. Today was a hot day. Man, everybody, man, subscribe to the channel, Legend Nova. All about the kicks. Put a like on the button. Share the video to all your friends and family, man. They want to watch the video, man. We we it's nothing crazy. We just talking about the Migos and shit and then record label. So if you don't want to watch this video, just click off. You know what I'm saying? That's what we talking about today. But anyway, the Migos. I never used to like the Migos. Like, like the Migos came out like 2012, 2013. Um, Drake had jumped in their song, and then it was already popping already. But with Drake jumped in that shit, it just stamped on it, put a stamp on that shit, and made them niggas a big time star. But um, they were signed to Gucci Man first. So people might not know that Gucci Man had Gucci Man had a lot of niggas on his label. He just went to jail and didn't know how to act. Throwing chicks out the fucking car, doing all kinds of shit. So he had went to jail and he had Young Thug with Young he had Young Thug and he had the Migos. He gave the Migos to um QC. He he he, he gave him the rights. I guess they, you know, they paid him, gave him his money, he gave them, I don't know how much money he gave them. I guess he got his money back and a little bit interest on top. And then Young Thug, he gave him the, you know, baby and cash money and 300. He had no choice because you don't want to hold, like, when you, if you, if you got a record label and you, um, say you're doing, you better go, go do some time. You don't want to hold nobody's career back. So if you can make a little money or give them away and you know they're going to be a big time star, a uh, big time artist, you, you know, you do just doing it for you and him. Because you don't, like, if I were on my own record label and I'm, I'm, about, I'm in some trouble, I'm not going to want to hold nobody back. Cause you know what I'm saying? People got lives and families to take care of. So the Migos went with QC. QC built them up to be where they at now. Do do I think they would have if they would have stayed with Gucci Man, Gucci Man didn't go to jail for all them couple years, they still would have been big. They still would have been big. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what label they would have went on. QC is with Gucci Man right now. They're not signing each other, but you know, I mean, Gucci Man put them niggas on. So it's like when you a good artist, you're a good artist. You know what I'm saying? Amigos, they they dope. They dope. You know what I'm saying? They dope. I mean, the best one to me is Take Off. Um, and then All Set. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Um, Quavo's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they, by themselves, they okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, Take Off, no. Take Off album was garbage. That, that solo album was terrible. All Set shit was fire. And Quavo shit was okay. They both went gold. Both albums went gold. Take off shit then. We, we, we know that shit wasn't going nowhere. That shit went wood. <laughs> that shit was garbage. Um, besides that, you know, now they suing the label and shit. And I'm like, you can't be friends with the owner of the label. Y'all niggas partying, doing all kinds of shit. Then you put your, your wife on, you know, on the management team. Like, you got to do stuff separate, man. You can't, when you got a record label and you friends with the people on the record label, or you, y'all grew up to get, you, that shit's never gonna work. You see me have it the future, what he, what he, what he did to uh, Rocco. Rocco put the nigga on, signed him to his label. I think he had him on a seven album deal, and then fucking Future did some shit behind his back. Signed another deal with Epic behind his back. And that's why Rocco got $10 million. Because you can't be fucking doing shit like that. He had you, he had you on contract, and at the time, I think, um, Future only had like three or four albums out So that's why he put out that double disc To make five albums And he started to say oh no I didn't do that And that's you did nigga You put that, them two albums out back to back Because you were trying to get off the label You know what I'm saying That's why they was beefing So niggas It's about when you get niggas in the Like say you you got your own label Or you a manager or something You gotta watch this shit Because if you don't got no papers on these niggas They will turn on you in a minute so say you say you put a lot of work into a nigga. You got on beats. You you fucking you say you say you wrote on some hooks. You know what I'm saying? You don't write his music, but you wrote on some hooks. You did everything for him, and a, a label come up to him was like, "Yo, leave, drop him and come with us." Niggas would do that shit. Niggas ain't loyal. The rap game is not loyal. The sneaker game ain't loyal. The music, the the fucking movies ain't loyal. Not nobody is loyal these days. So you gotta look out for your fucking self. So you got to make sure everything is on contract. You got to make sure everything is on black and white. Because if it's not, a handshake, shaking somebody's hand is not them days no more. Them days is over with. You put somebody's handshake or write on a napkin, no, this day's over. You got to have everything in black and white. Because you will get fucked over. Big time. And who wants to deal with that shit? 
And you can't trust people. When it comes down to money, money is evil. Niggas only care about money, pussy, and Hennessy. Or any drinks. So you gotta you gotta be gotta be prepared for this shit. You just gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Do do the did the Migos get rivaled? I bet you they did. They had, both of their albums went triple platinum. You got three albums that two albums that went triple platinum. Come on. Then you got two gold albums. So that's a lot of money. A million copies is like I think it's like I forgot how much it was. It's a lot. It's like 15 million, some shit like that. So you you add that up. Now you go triple time, you go tr three times platinum. 15, 15, 15. How much that? It's 45 million. So you gotta you gotta you gotta understand that shit, man. This record company business is shady. They will find ways to, to scrape money off your money. So you gotta be prepared. So a lot of these record labels, they give you cars and houses and shit, and the shit don't be in your name. So you you gotta make sure these houses and cars is in your name. And if there is in your name, that's just coming out your budget. Ain't nothing free. Going out to eat, eating at fucking all these big ass restaurants and all that shit. No, my nigga, that shit is coming out your fucking budget. Remember that shit. You seen him to Tordy Braxton back in the day. She thought everything was free. No, that shit come out your budget. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta read these contracts, man. You gotta really do these shit. You know what I'm saying? To see them beefing, right? Now nah, I'm saying they beefing, but they going to court and shit. It's crazy. It's like seeing Cash Money, Little Wayne and Baby. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody left Cash Money back in the day. Juvenile, fucking turt, BG, because the baby didn't want to pay. Baby, we trying to hold their money and shit. Like, BG and them niggas hold their money. Come on, baby. These niggas grown, my nigga. You trying to hold their fucking money? Like, you got to be careful when you sign these contracts if you're a rapper, producer, and everything. Because they will get you. They will rape you. There'll be a little thing in that contract that you maybe skipped over that you didn't see. And when you sign that contract, it's fucking over. You know what I mean? I hope they, I hope they could work it out. Do I think the Migos could be without QC? I don't know. Can they get back to the old terms? I don't know. If they really take this shit and Quavo and all them niggas, it's like, fuck, fuck, fuck them. I mean, they could be mad, too, because little Baby out there, he, he killing them. He got, what, two number one albums. He went platinum a dozen times. He got, like, 40 songs over the part So they might be mad. Baby and little Baby didn't supposed to be a rapper, but he a rapper now. And that motherfucker out there killing the industry, putting out hit at the 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 hit. Baby and Big Baby, <laughs> them niggas is popping right now. So, um, that could be the reason too, because with, with 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 QC had the label, it was all about the Migos. It was all about little uh little little, little Yachty. That nigga whack as fuck. You, you when the last time you heard little Yachty had a hit song? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Last time little Yachty had a hit song had to been like four or five years ago. I'm dead serious. I think the last hit song I think he did to me was um, Broccoli, a song called Broccoli. I think that was his last hit. That wasn't even his song. It was a feature. I think that might have been his last fucking platinum hit. That's just my opinion. I don't know. But anyway, man, subscribe to the channel. Let you know all about the kicks, man. If you like the Migos, put a like on it. If you don't like the Migos, you don't care about their music, put a fucking dislike or leave a comment. Um, And I got the merch. I will be putting that under the description, man. Check out the merch. If you're feeling something, buy something. If you're not, it's cool. I'm going to be putting more merch up there next month. Um, got a 50% off a lot of, of the merch. Um, got a lot of stuff up there. So check it out. I'm out of here. One. Peace.